So welcome, if you're watching this on my Optimistic Adventurer channel, thank you. Um, but this is actually going to be the first video of a new channel. Um, haven't decided the name yet, um, just because I'm going to keep the Optimistic Adventurer for micro adventures, kit reviews and the new channel, which I'll put at the bottom of the screen because I genuinely don't know what it's going to be called yet. I'll ask the kids, they always come up with good names. Um, it's going to be about Bluebell, the camper car. She's a stealth camper um, in the front. She looks very normal. But in the back, we've had a little bit of a play with the saws and the drills. And I'm really pleased to say all of the wood, apart from about 10% of it, all of the wood is reclaimed wood. So here she is. We've got the bed. Mattress is coming on Saturday. It's 96 centimeters wide. Um, so it does fit two of us in. We've got a little bit of a structure here. Curtains for blackout. And this is a seated area. That's a little seat. Get the iPad up on there sit there it's just so you don't have to lie down all the time and you don't have to sit in the front behind this seat that folds down and that becomes my cooking platform for when the weather's bad uh, and i want to have to do everything inside i just crack a window put my stove my kettle and then get my meals out all my meals um medical kit gas supplies toiletries are all stored under there in four uh, 27 litre tubs with lids it's actually a really comfy seat around the back we have the table as we saw on the drone footage I've got 10 litres of water i've got a little net here um this is where when I'm going hiking I chuck my rucksack it takes an 80 litre rucksack um, and as you can see when there's bits that I just don't quite know what I'm doing with or bits I need for that day I just toss them on here it's a great space it stops that area the living area being cluttered chopping board when I want to do a bit of uh, alfresco cooking my lights are solar got two sets of those these sets this this set probably won't stay I've got a bit of decoration I've got some overhead storage because one of the things I identified on my test trip was that if I was balancing a coffee on here or on here or on any of the other areas where you can balance a coffee um, there's a high risk that it's going to fall over and cause a mess and I really those are the those of you that have got tiny space living spaces um, mess is a real pain especially wet mess so I created a little overhead coffee table really so our coffees go up there or our wine go up there and there's no risk of them being spilled uh, I am going to paracord some stretchy paracord along here so I can use that as a bit of in transit storage as well the, the lights are great I have blacked out the windows uh, it's uh, translucent you can just about see through doesn't block any light um, and I've got some blackout stuff coming so I can 
truly black it out when I'm stealth camping. Currently using a seven centimetre prism, um, 70 centimetre mattress, which is perfect for me. Doesn't quite fit me and the wife, so a few adjustments needed. But I've got a memory foam mattress that I've just been donated inside. There is bags of room. This door is sealed. Uh, I've I found completely by accident actually that there's a little cap on the side of the door. This is a Zafira. There's a little cap at the side of the door. You pull that cap and there's a hex screw in there and you screw that hex screw and it completely disengages the handle. So this is no longer a door. It's got a nice backed wood surface. Uh, I am gonna probably wood out this whole frame so I can put some nice curtains on there. Uh, it's not, I was thinking of having that as a usable space, but I don't think it's going to be. This is still a usable space when I'm inside. Um, and it's really handy because when you whip your socks off, get your trousers off, um, I don't like just dumping them around anywhere in here. Um, so I just tossed them onto there and there. It's an airy space. It's super cool. I absolutely love it. Two people led down. You can have one person sat up here, one person sat in the chair. Uh, it's amazing. It is so, so cool. And it feels really, really lovely. It's, um, it's incredibly calm. I don't know if I, I just, by luck, have got the Feng Shui just right. So that's Bluebell. This is my new channel. What am I going to do on this channel? I am going to travel the UK stealth camping. So camping in places that campers can't usually go. Um, car parks, streets, anywhere really. If there's something I want to see in an area and I can't find a good place to camp, I'm going to camp literally right in the middle of the town. Get my head down, have a great night's sleep wake up and go and see that local beauty spot that I drove up there to see in the first place. It's mega. I'm excited. I've wanted one of these for so long. Now I've got one. Uh, we've got one battery powered light. So without the battery powered, I've just got me little solars. I've got a little bit of IV just because I like I like a bit of the outdoors, indoors. And I feel it just, I don't know, it just gives it, gives it a bit of a, a nature's edge. And we've just got that for when the solar light's gone or there's something I'm concerned about outside. What am I going to do in the future? Well, good question. I am going to, I'm fitting a diesel heater, one of the Chinese diesel heaters. I am putting roof bars and a top box, so I'm going to have a cartridge toilet, um, shower. I've already figured out from someone's YouTube channel how to create a good shower. Um, it's going to hang off the back door. It's going to be a small hula hoop with a shower curtain around, shower inside the hula hoop showering down on me, it gives me a bit of privacy. Mm -hmm.